Riddles, I guess. A little bit too early for Big Macs. At least here, maybe where you are out there, you'll be able to enjoy a Big Mac. I cannot wait to see this. I'm going to read some donations while we are still getting set up over here. We have a $25 donation from Cortagius that says, money well spent. Good luck, runners. We also have a $25 donation from Core that says, awesome runs, great causes. What better way than SGDQ and Doctors Without Borders start to start into this week? All right, it looks like we are ready for some breakfast. It's McDonald's Treasure Land. No, not yet. Huh? Oh. Okay. I was told and then I was told not. The fun of live streaming. So I'll read some more donations while we're still getting set up. We are going to get to it really soon. I promise you. We have a $25 donation from JT that says, SGDQ is a consistent highlight to my year and never fails to cheer me up. We have a $10 donation from Taurus that says, greetings from Northern Finland. I love what you guys do, and I love watching the awesome speedrunners. This is my first donation ever for you. Thank you so much. And every donation amount matters, whether it's $10 or if I start reading a $100 donation. But trust me, every single donation amount matters because it all goes to the great cause of Doctors Without Borders. We have a $5 donation from Mira Luna that says, vacation in GDQ, awesome communities, hyped greetings from Germany. While we're getting set up, I also want to mention that we've got some bid wars going on. There's a real close one for later on today. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the either uh, the original version or the definitive edition, it's really close right now. Only about $35 separates the original from the definitive edition. So when you go to uh, make your... Uh, donation over at gamesdonequick.com slash donate. Be sure that after you put in the amount, you select an incentive or multiple incentives if you so choose. We have a $15 donation from Jerky, and th this is for y'all out here in the audience. So glad SGDQ is back in person. Audience cam was sorely missed. Here's my first $15 of the week in hopes of scoring that amazing bonk plush. 
Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work, audience. Thank you. All right, now I've been told that we are good to go. It is time for breakfast out here in Minnesota. It's McDonald's Treasureland Adventure. Listar, show us how it's done. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I am Listar, and I'm here to show you McDonald's Treasureland Adventure. Y'all ready for breakfast? Yeah. Because there's none in this game. This game has no food in it. No food, oh. no burger. I don't, I don't know why. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that as we get into that. Let me uh, introduce my couch. This is Node. Hello. Node tasked this game and yeah. knows it better than I do. And no, uh, this yeah. is Ruby Heart. Hi, I'm here for the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby Heart is here to, to, to goof off and make jokes. This will be a very silly, very just chill m or early breakfast time. Uh, it's breakfast time. So first we have to uh, switch the language to Japanese. We play this on the English version. But we have to play in Japanese because Japanese is always faster. Yeah. Uh, on beginner. Uh, I am all set. We ready? Shall I? Who wants to count me down? Ooh. Uh, would you do the honors? You made the task. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, uh, for it. Five. Oh, wait. Well, oh. never mind. Uh, this, we're, we're going. Oh, uh, no, not yet. Go. Uh, okay. Count from three. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one. One, go. Oh, no, no you got to go a little faster. Than this. I don't know what, you're, what you want me to do. <laughs> Wait, okay, I will okay, count okay, us okay. down. No, I'll do it. We're going to take it from the top. Three, go. two, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, it's, it's seriously like two seconds. And go. There you go. That's it's, how you do it. It's because we don't get breakfast in this game. I am. Yes. That's why. Hungry. <laughs> it is early. Welcome to McDonald's. Uh, that entire spiel, that will be the energy of this run. Uh, we are loopy, and uh, we're here to jump around, shoot magic, and not eat any burgers. Welcome to McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. It is a platforming game made by Treasure, uh, which, if that name is familiar, made Mischief Makers, they made uh, Gunstar Heroes, a bunch of other games that people care about way more than McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. <laughs> so why am I playing this? I don't know. Why not? It's a good game. It's a good... It is... Actually, legitimately, a very good game. Uh, good first music. trick of the run coming up right here. It's a little tricky. Perfect. Uh, just a damage boost up to those. The first one is a little hard because it's behind the scenery. Uh, there is a, like, the actual speedrun strat here is to grab that um, magic power up, which increases your attack. But it really throws me off this cycle. So I'm going to do this for safety's sake. This might actually be faster. Is what? Might actually be faster. What, just ignoring it? Yeah, because you don't need it for the boss. Oh. Well, the, the the world record holder is like three seconds behind Tess or something like that, and I, he grabs it. Like 20 seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I don't know. You would know. Yeah, oh, I would. The Furbies. The Furbies. <laughs> God. Yeah, you know, McDonald's famous Furbies. Well, we had a discussion about this when I was watching Liz run it for the first time, that like Furbies and I have a weird experience. So just anytime I see them, all I can think is Furbies. I love Furbies and same, like when I saw this as a kid, I'm like, that's a Furby. Yeah, and then you're gonna see little, uh, they look like Pac-Man ghosts later. <laughs> so. There's up, a up, lot of weird you. enemies in mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first auto-scroller. This game is like almost 50% auto-scroller. <laughs> So, uh, the, but that one's thankfully quite short. Uh, and now we get into the cave section of the first level. But almost, Your wait. caves. Oh, which should be noted, uh, each area is magical something. So this area that we are in currently is the magical forest. It is a creature. It's a cave. This game has banging music. Yeah, such good music. Okay, so the main uh, strategy we will be employing is you can see this scarf is used to like grab on the things, but it also completely negates your knockback. So we will use it to try and quickly go through cycles and whatnot. Hello there. That guy likes to spawn if you're not quick enough. He, he uh, it, it, it feels completely random to me, but it, it is a matter of- It depends on how many of those uh, water drops are on the screen. Yeah. Hello, Furby. Uh, if you're expecting to see a lot of McDonald's-related things, as I said, there's no food. And there are McDonald's characters. Uh, I'm gonna waste a little time. Hello. It's the hamburger. Bye. And Don't the touch. M. <laughs> and, of course, the M. M. 
M. <laughs> uh, it teaches you how to beat the game. I've always had the, the, the like theory that this is just another game and they just ran out of money, which is... I don't think there's any like proof of that, and I think there's proof saying the opposite. Like they, this was just originally intended to be a McDonald's game, and they just were like, "We'll do whatever we want. It's all good. <laughs> we're treasury. Who cares?" Uh, here is the first boss, and this employs another tactic: crouching. You attack faster, and you also don't have any knockback. So there you go. That's the first boss down. M. M. <laughs> Uh, whenever we do that, it's usually because Ronald McDonald is literally making the McDonald's and with his finger, if, so if just you pay just a stand still. It. Yeah, he'll just do uh, the finger, the finger M. Mm -hmm. And every time I have to go M. Uh, so this auto scroller is. Do you know how long this one is? Uh, too long. Wow, well, <laughs> it's longer. That has never happened. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Wow, did you a moment? I can't believe I did it. That's never happened again. Oh my god. Uh, oh, weird glitch. It's fine. It's fine. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes, um, this is quite long. Um, we're going to be goofing off through a good chunk of it. But uh, for right now, we have time for like two or three donations. All right. We have a $10 donation from Colsia Canis that says, I have never heard of this McDonald's game before yesterday, and now it's the run I'm most excited for? What's happening? <laughs> and we have a $50 donation from MR that says, I am a simple man. I see Listar run. I know I'm in for a good time. Good luck, Liz. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, got time for one more. Time for like two more. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Three <laughs> more, right. probably. Well, how about this $200 donation Ooh. from Ayla Maxima oh. that says, tons of respect to Liz Star, who only ever brings us the greatest treasures from the trash can. All the best on the rest of your Mick run, and thank you to GDQ for doing so much for accessible healthcare around the world. Thank you so much. Uh, there is a strat here that makes the screen go slightly to the right more. All right, we have time for more. <laughs> yeah, like another four more. All right, we have a $15 donation from Passing Mention that says, finally awake to be able to actually catch one of your runs live. Cheers to the run, Liz. And when will McDonald's bring back the Hamburglar? I know. Like, McDonald's has abandoned all of these characters, and it's a real shame. I mean, they aren't good. <laughs> but that's why I love them. <laughs> so, you know, bring them back. They're Hat way cracks. better than the creepy thing with a face. Well, well, happy? Do you, you know Grimace. what I'm talking about? I, I'm thinking of, like, thing. everything that has a face right uh, now. Yeah, the thing with the face is, is a little bit generalist. <laughs> I feel like you're going to need to be a bit it, it, is a It is a Happy Meal box with teeth. Is that oh. better for you? <laughs> so oh. it's a mimic? D does that spark you <laughs> like, joy? <laughs> I mean, anything D and D related sparks me joy, but just that sounds demonic, and this was for children. Challenge rating is like, like ninety nine. Don't even. You've never it. seen a children's game. I. <laughs> no, you know what? That's fair, actually. <laughs> okay, we're coming up on a uh, a section where we actually have things to do. Woo. Uh, but hey, there are things to do in this. You just like hit up and down. It's fun. Mm -hmm. And you hit up and down very well. Proud of you. <laughs> I'm very proud you. of you. <laughs> Uh, so we're on some kind of circus trains, it, it would seem. Uh, none of this game, like I said, has any real theme. Uh, the story is that Ronald is walking through the magical forest when he spots a treasure map under a tree. And he's like, I'm going to go find that treasure. And that's the, that's the story. That's what you get. Now, this area is, th this is Magical Ooh. Village at this point? Yes. Yeah, we are now in the Magical Village. Uh, everything is magical in McDonald mm -hmm. land. Uh, we're actually going to see the first actual McDonald's character other than Ronald. Hey, it's Birdie. I just saw a hamburger. Is this a... Oh, yeah, other than him. Is this a Furby prison block? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is where all the Furbies that misbehave go. Oh, oh, no. But they broke out. It's okay. Some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so, one of the weird things about this game... Well, one of the many, 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 many weird things about this game is that... Uh, Ronald has, like, you know, the health of the gems, and they're always like, Ronald, why don't you help me with your, your famous gems? And I'm just like, what are you talking about? But the gems, like, 
Birdie's like, I need to break out. I was captured. Give me some gems, and it will give me the energy to break out. And it's like, okay. Later on, someone's like, give me your famous gems. You give it to him, and he falls asleep. I don't know. They're 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 just like whatever they need them to be. The the gems are like Superman. It's just whatever the heck you need and in the moment. So so much like the area is just all being magical. The explanation for gems is because friendship and magic. <laughs> Just because magic. This is the moment where anyone who walks into my stream and is like, oh, Liz is playing a McDonald's game, is like, Liz, what the hell are you playing? Yeah, there's just <laughs> Swan Lake playing on. <laughs> like, and ballerinas on dancing train. on train tracks. It's okay, don't worry about mm -hmm. it. This is McDonald's. Yeah, this is McDonald's. This Wait, is how we all remember, remember McDonald's. It. Have you never seen ballerinas dancing on train tracks? I've seen no. it hundreds of times. Is that like a, a big thing in the DC theater scene? <laughs> I was trying to make a thing called a joke, and apparently it didn't <laughs> It's still early. <laughs> My f I, uh, we, I brought this up in, in the interview, but the best sprite in this game is this one. Just... You see that, and you, 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 when you wake up in the morning, you just pass out. But don't enter this shop because the screen goes backwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This shop is a trap. Don't go into that one. You go into the first one. So we're finally at the front of the train, and we are done with all of the auto-scroller. This is, uh, I call him Mr. Hat. You just hit him a bunch, and there you go. Oh, that was a fast one, too. Sometimes he just kind of, like, does, like, another hop down there. He didn't even there. throw his hat off. He didn't even throw his hat off. Wow. Yeah. Oop. I think I should have started slowing Oh, no, we're falling. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> It's okay, he'll be fine. Ronald doesn't kill anyone. That yeah. matters. <laughs> <laughs> this I hate the screen so much. The screen is like the worst in the freaking game. Uh nope. Heck. <laughs> if I get like slightly off my cycle, I'm just completely thrown for a loop. I tried okay, understanding the screen and then I never did. Uh, this one is also kind of a nightmare, so hopefully it will be fine. Uh, there's a bunch of what appears to be human Squidward throwing a trash can out the window. Um, and then at the top, you got sumo wrestlers. It's just a, a, a classic city, just exactly as you remember it. This is how I remember my city. Perfect, like, and a little repeating shortcut. background. There you go. You just regularly use the scaffolding to get around. <laughs> you don't? I listen, there are certain times where they don't allow that. I don't know what to tell you. Second boss time. Uh, none of these bosses have like lore or names. We give a name to one of them. This person I just called a goblin. Um, okay. And then the first one's like the tomato who looks like a pumpkin. And They're each of them of tries to eat your us. magic jewels and then is weak while they are eating them. So there you go. Now it's a goblin. Please stop. You gonna cry? You gonna cry, baby? <laughs> I'd be crying too. Mm -hmm. Well, he's a little baby gobbo, and you took away his robot. There we go. Level three. That sound. Uh, this is the hardest one in the game. It's got the most uh, actual strats, but we do have another auto scroller here uh, with some more banging music. But we have time for like two or three uh, donations. All right, we have a $50 donation from Dodo Hex that said, had to make a Mick donation for Treasure Land Adventure, enjoying this year's week of speed runs with my son, who is finally old enough to watch with me. Good luck, runners. Stay hydrated. Nice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we have a $25 donation from Jane Embers that says, super proud of you, Liz, from one trash goblin to another. <laughs> Happy GDQ. Happy GDQ. Thank you so much for your donation. We got time for another. Uh, we have a $25 donation from Uzi that says, can I get a sausage McMuffin with egg, hash brown, and sweet tea? No? How about that bonk plushie? <laughs> Jeez, standing on the edge of that boat lags so much more on Genesis than emulator. <laughs> really? I, I didn't even know that. Immediate slowdown. T-Post. Wee! I'm not with the legs, like, <laughs> splayed out. I, I'm not that far. Yeah, T-Post. There we go. <laughs> We're good. All right, so here we have a bunch of happy penguins. And if you hit them, and they if you hit them, they get you. angry and yell at you. And last, like I, I said that to the person I was hanging out with in the practice room, and like I would too. Like it's, 
Yeah. Why is that something you even need to bring up? Of course they would. Why would you attack the penguin? They're very yeah. cute. Yeah. On his first sale. There we go. That's another small quick strat to get over there faster. And here he is! Our Captain boy! Lips. What's his name? Captain oh, Lips. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it, it, it's it's grown at this point. Uh, <laughs> it is now uh, Sir Mr. Captain Lips Esquire the Third, I believe, is where we left it last night. The first of his line. <laughs> okay, this is one of the hardest rooms in the game. Give me a moment. No! Heck. Okay. All right. Almost. There we go. Okay. Uh, you can do that all in one go. Um, and it is entirely muscle memory. Yeah. So what are we doing on a pirate ship? Like, what's who's attacking? I don't know. Stop asking questions. Oh, and this is the magical ocean area, yes. right? That's the yes. name of it. Magical yeah. sea, something magical like that. Magical sea, something mm -hmm. like that. McDonald, uh, Ronald McDonald can, of course, breathe underwater. What can't Ronald McDonald do? He is, <laughs> he is a godlike being. He can breathe Nothing underwater. Nothing can stop him. He can T-pose. Truly incredible powers. And now the actual hardest room in the game. This one I will also probably flub up slightly. Just slightly. <laughs> yeah. There's an even quicker way to do that. It's really difficult. It is, it is like... You have like three frames on either side. The thing with this game is that it's actually quite easy to pick up and speed run, but if you're trying to do like a uh, sub 21, then like every single trick is going to be a um, a tiny trick that saves you like half a second and it will completely yeah. destroy the run if you fail it. On that uh, scaffolding screen, there's actually a frame perfect trick that saves like 10 seconds. I, I saw I, I I saw Boone do it. I was like, oh, there's got to be some kind of like way to improve my run for GDQ. Let me look at it. Yeah, I, I saw that. And I'm like, I'm good. I've not found a way <laughs> to not make that like frame perfect. This one is very satisfying. There we go. And I like this room a lot. He's like, come at me. Okay. And just immediately falls. Easiest fight of the game. And here we face the notorious Captain Sir Master Lips Esquire. Oh. Let's hope for a one cycle. I practiced it. it a bunch last night. All right. Woo. And there it is. Yeah. I love him. He's wonderful. What a terrifying design. So scary, especially with frame here. Yeah. It's like, ooh. All right. And now it is the final world. Our magical adventure is nearing its end. We're in space. We are in space. Uh, we're, we're on a moon. This is not even the first time in a McDonald's game Ronald has been on space. <laughs> Excuse me, we're not only on a moon, it's actually the magical moon. It is the, it's magical. the magical moon. Every area is magical. Uh, you'll be seeing we're, we're abusing these balloons a lot, especially here. Um, the balloons are just like, it's a number, and like if you fall in a pit, instead of dying, you get to float up. And it, it will be especially useful. You'll notice we've collected like 10, and there's a very important reason for that. Uh, the final auto-scroller of the game. I like this one, and I like kind of dancing with it. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have time for like two or three donations to end it off here. All right, we have a $5 donation from Willem that says, Ronald McDonald has a stunning disregard for railway safety. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a $10 donation from MJ Hay that says, so hyped to watch Liz Star clown around today. Good luck, my friend. Thanks for being the coolest. Oh, thank you. And we, and we do have a $10 donation from Andy that says, Treasureland Adventure was one of my beloved games from my childhood. I love seeing it action. Can't wait until you get to that jamming final boss battle. The final boss battle in this game is wild because it's like, here's this happy, cute, like, McDonald game. And then it, it genuinely sounds like anime final ba boss battle theme. It's incredible. Is it, it not? It, <laughs> a Ronald McDonald anime. I'm shocked that doesn't exist yet, actually. I'm sure uh, it they does. do. They call they call Ronald uh, just uh, Donald, I think, in <laughs> Japan, by the way. Oh, so, really? 
Uh, because this is uh, the Japanese, this is actually Donald. Uh, Donald McDonald, I, I think this is his <laughs> name in Japan. Johnson, Johnson. Okay, most important part. The grabby hand. Nope. I love how he's walking and then he immediately turns around with the same, like, nope. Just, nope, absolutely <laughs> not. But nope, he cannot nope. walk any faster, so. And then, of course, the Ronald McDonald panic jazz hands. And? Bro fist. <laughs> so this is the final area of the game. This is the alien ship. So the general idea is we crash landed on this moon, which is apparently where the treasure is. Uh, by the way, the treasure map that we got has been leading to other pieces of the treasure map, which I don't think is how treasure maps work. But to be fair, I haven't seen one. It is 2022. Um, uh, finally, it led us to this this place, and now we are going to confront the alien and get his treasure. Yeah, the map just like, you get all the pieces and then it just changes into a map on a moon. <laughs> That's true. You get all the pieces, it just like magically changes like it's Harry Potter or something. Uh, I was going to, oh, right, that, that section down below, by the way, it's quite easy to fall off. It's also quite easy to just go through platforms here. Um, and if you do, it's like a 50 second time loss, and I lost the PB to that the other day. Um, all right, so this room sucks, and I hate it, but thankfully, balloons exist, so we don't have to do any of this. As a kid, this was my nightmare. Um, as an adult, I'm like, this game's really easy. <laughs> It's almost like it's for kids or something. <laughs> okay. Here's a fast little strat. There you go. And now we can get up here to a goblin. Hello. So he's like, oh, you're that, that Donald clown. Give me some gems. And you give him gems, and then he falls asleep, which is the exact opposite of what has been going on the entire game. Jeez, There's no sleep. consistency. Uh, I want my money back. Uh, I'm giving this uh, a, a bunch of dings on um, on my YouTube channel. Uh, here's the bean tree, which everyone in my chat absolutely despises. Yeah, so there's actually like a task only thing that you can do to kill that in like two hits. Really? Yeah, Sonic, you found it. Like the health just drops below what it's normally at oh, for like weird. one frame. Oh, that's really cool. I'm gonna do the slightly slower strat here. <laughs> I believe it. Because I, I really don't want to mess it up. This is the final boss. Uh, this music is jamming. Uh, he takes three hits, and it's a weird Scooby-Doo battle. People would walk into the practice room and be like, what is this video again? And I'd be like, don't even, slugs, don't even ask that. If you're asking that, it's already too late. It's too late. <laughs> there is a, a way to do this. It, 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 like I said, it genuinely only saves like half a second, where like, you, you go through the doors, and you, like you don't go through the doors, because if you're going through the doors while he's trying to change uh, positions, oh my god. Jump, 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 jump. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Woo. Sometimes Woo. it just hits you and you can't, like, give him the gem. And anyway. time is on fade to black. Time is on fade to black. M. One M. final M to send us off. And time. 21.32. That's pretty good. So... He's like, stop, you've won. Just take my treasure, you've earned it. And uh, Ronald is like, oh, don't be silly. We don't want your treasure, which is news to me because that's the whole point of the video game. He's like, we just want to go home. And uh, so the alien is like, oh, I can help with that. And uh, we're friends now, which is great because he's kind of adorable. I don't want to be yeah. him up. And uh, the treasure chest opens and uh, it turns out the real treasure was the gay agenda all along. Uh, it was hiding on the moon. Um, yeah. And it sends us back home. And it was released onto the world. And this, entire, this entire story, this entire adventure was a complete waste of time. But it was the friends we made along the way. And that is the actual, like, moral, which is really annoying now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, and that is McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. Yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, shout outs, yep. shout outs. And have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. It, Do you have any shout outs to uh, my sister? It is her birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Can I say that to her. <laughs> I believe she is watching right now. So, <laughs> love you, Emil. Sorry I couldn't be home. And thank you to everyone. Uh, anything you want to say? Oh, just thank you for having me. This was a blast to watch. Of course. It's a very silly, fun game. And if you never played it, definitely check it out. It's quite fun. 
Uh, on normal, there are some extra levels. That's why we play on beginner, by the way. Uh, yeah, like also on the groups. Japanese ROM, there are the extra levels on beginner. That's why we have to play on the English uh, uh, cartridge. Yeah. My childhood English cartridge. Oh, uh, wow, nice. All right, thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and enjoy the rest of the marathon. Yeah, let's, let's hear it for Listar. Thank you so much for introducing us all to that adventure. We do have a $5 donation from Friendly Frankenstein that says, better get the fries. You'll need the strength in the coming days. We're only on day two of SGDQ. This is amazing. But I want to tell you right now, about one of our sponsors. Fangamer is a video game merchandise company. They are shipping worldwide. Now they have a whole Games Done Quick collection and all sales of GDQ merch benefit Doctors Without Borders. And you can find that collection over at fangamer.com slash collections slash games done quick with dashes in between the games and the done and the done and the quick. My favorite thing on the Fangamer uh, site here is these NES cartridges. And the neat thing about them is that they are just the plastic shells, but you can still put an NES board in it and actually put it in your Nintendo so you can actually play Summer Games Done Quick if you get one of those cartridges. We have more love for the McDonald's here. We have a $10 donation from Andy Mayon that says, always look forward to your runs, Liz. Good luck. And we have a $50 donation from Royal Blue Wizard that says, always glad to be donating to an excellent cause during a fantastic event. Best of luck, Liz. Love you, and may your love of everything by treasure guide you through this adventure. We have a $25 donation from Shannon and Odin that says, look forward to every one of your runs, Liz Star. You are a Liz Star. All right, I am told it is time to go over to the stage so what you got for us over there? All right, I think we got it this time. Let's go over to the stage. What you got for us over there? Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2022. I keep wanting to say online because I'm used to saying online, but it's not just online. We're back. Yes. Thank you. Right? That is worth getting excited this early in the morning, and it is slightly early in the morning. I am Mr. Game and Shout, and I'm gonna be showing you some of the amazing things that we have available for you to win uh, during this next couple of runs. The prizes that I'm gonna be showing right now are available through the end of the Pathless, which is not the next game, but the game after. So you don't have a lot of time left. If you're interested in any of these, please get your donations in, gamesdonequick.com. Click on the donate link. You can check out prizes we've got available through the rest of the week. And we've got some really amazing stuff. So let's go ahead and run down some of the things that we have available. Uh, for a $5 donation during this block, we've got a lot of things that you can get in actually really cool. Wolf Shadow, provider of amazing patches throughout the event, has hooked us up with some Ninja Gaiden patches. I believe that those are going to be hopefully coming up here on the screen in a second. Um, we've got photos of that. There we go. You can check out pictures of this and, again, all the other prizes on the website, gamesdonequick.com. $5 minimum donation. Get you in to win those. 
From the game that we just had, you could have your very own Ronald McDonald Perler. Beautiful work on this. Pearl Pop sending us in some more amazing items for this event. I absolutely love it. Let me see if I can help get the camera kind of focus where we want it here. The melt quality on Pearl Pop stuff is absolutely incredible. They are the master of the matte melt, and I absolutely love it. $5 minimum donation gets you in to win this one. Thank you again, Pearl Pop, for that. Also available for $5, I know that one of our earlier hosts was really excited about this one. We have, oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. It's fine. It's live. We're good. We have the Ninja Gaiden Castle Print. This is coming in from Studio Pen Pen. Absolutely gorgeous piece of art here. $5 minimum donation gets you in to win this, if I can minimize the glare. Excellent. Awesome. All right, so that's the $5 level. $10 level, got a few more things available for you. Studio Pen Pen again has sent us in this Blaster Master mouse pad. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much again for sending this in. $10 minimum donation would, would get you in to win that. Um, if you're into some other kind of handcraft, donation and you are automatically entered to win this prize. So please get that in Again, quickly. Everything I'm showing you right now, other than the grand prize we'll get to in a minute, uh, is only available through the end of Pathless. So you've only got a couple more games left to get in for these. Going back to Pop, we have a pair, because they have to come together, of Bub and Bob Perlers. Just look at them. I love these. Where do I? Okay. Get it around so you can see them on the camera. This is fine. I know what I'm doing. $10 minimum donation gets you in to win both of these. Thank you so much, Pearl Pop, for sending these in. For a $15 minimum donation, Wolf Shadow, along with the patches, has hooked us up with a Bonk plushie. You can see a picture of that on the website, gamesdonequick.com. You all know how much I love uh, making new friends, and especially the very cute, snuggly kind that we have here in the prize department, and it is wonderful. So please, head online, check that out, get that donation in. A little bit of wall art coming up. Uh, Skater43 has sent us the Contra Speedrunners Query cross-stitch. Because, you know, it's a, it's a fair question. Why do you have to go slowly when you're a speedrunner? Check out more information about that on the website, gamesdonequick.com. Get those donations in, please. Also for $25, from K Duffels, we have this absolutely gorgeous, which way is up on this? I believe this way, holographic Knight's print. It does come framed. It is Absolutely stunning. The holographic effect on this is really lovely. This could be yours. $25 minimum donation gets you in to win this and all of the other prizes that are available in this prize block. So that's what I've got to show for this prize block specifically. I also want to remind you once again about the grand prize that we've got for this event. Heroic Replicas has hooked us up once again. We have a Heroic Replicas bundle featuring Sly Cooper's cane and the Fire Emblem Falchion. These are absolutely gorgeous. I'm being very careful not to touch them because they will take fingerprints. But these are custom made, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've got a few other items in that grand prize bundle as well. We've got the Celeste vinyl stickers. We've got the Super Mario Orb. A couple of other things in there. You can check out the full details on the website, gamesdonequick.com. $200 cumulative donation gets you into win that. So what does it mean when we say cumulative? All your donations throughout the week, we add them all together. If it meets or exceeds $200, you are automatically entered to win the grand prize bundle. So while you're on the website taking a look at some of the things we've got available, it's like, oh, you know, maybe I want to get in on this prize block, that prize block. Good news. It all adds together and gets you in towards this grand prize. Thank you, everyone, for all of the donations so far. It is Monday morning. We have been going for, what, I think 20 hours now, give or take, and we're already almost at $150,000. So thank you. Right? Thank you. And thank you, everyone at home, for watching and donating. This is amazing. We're so glad to be back. The, the, ah, I'm just so happy. 
I'm just so happy, and thank you all again for coming and joining. I've been Mr. Game and Shout. I'll be back again later today, talk about some of the other prizes that we have. But up next, we've got the Knights Run. I have been looking forward to that one. So I don't want to hold you up any longer. Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you later. Thank you so much, Mr. Game and Shout. That's right, we've had, we rose from our grave, we had some breakfast, and now it's time to sleep again, obviously. That's why we're gonna go into nights, into dreams. This is any percent. Pochi is here to take us through that. We do have a $25 donation from Elk that says, so excited to see retro runs at an actually reasonable hour. That Gaten speed run was awesome. Can't wait to see Knights get run. All right, it is time to go into Nights into Dreams. Pochi, show us how it's done. <laughs> 